now it's Joe's time to shine. I don't want to risk damaging it anywhere, so we're going to wait for this to fully cure. Might have to get a canopy out. Get a Tony 10. Get a Tony 10. Tony 10. <laughs> yes. We might risk a collapse here. We've got an absolute mud tsunami out there. Good morning guys, so it is the morning after the night before and the footings are all done. We put some boards over just to keep the client a little bit safer if they decide to come and have a look outside. We're going to start digging this foot in. We've had a discussion and because this is still quite green, we don't want to risk damaging it anywhere. So we're going to wait for this to fully cure. So me and Joe are going to start digging this out. So this foot in runs along here, a metre from the boundary, down here and then returns in. Similar to that side over there, it returns in around about here I believe it is. I'll get the and check obviously before we mark everything out so we'll crack on with that so i've remarked the footings this is what's needed now for the rest of it just for the last bit of the dig we have got this inspection chamber here which is actually going to be moved over to here slightly i think so we're going to leave that for now because this is still servicing the house so we'll just get this area dig down we'll probably do the same as what we've done there and just shut this off slightly get the footings poured up to it and then we can just hand dig that out when we're ready to change all the pipe work over so i'm just going to get these covered over now with some balls and I'm just going to slowly work my way back this way. We'll get Joe in there on the tack barrow. It's going to be a bit of a slow one this because it's going to be a little bit awkward just to start at least. changing this bucket because this ground's so solid by putting a smaller bucket on it's more concentrated pressure in one area so i can get through this clay a lot easier and then i'll put the bigger bucket back on because when i'm digging this through with the smaller bucket it ends up doing that with the footing so by using the bigger bucket then i'll scrape it out so i'm just getting the edges probably a couple of inches either edge and that makes sure the footing is 600 wide i'm not losing the part and just changing my mind there is an actual method to the madness So I've done all I can now with the digger, I've got to the depths I can reach at and now it's Joe's time to shine. He's going to be in there just to basically scrape the bottom, we're down to the blue lines where we need to be. So the building inspector is well happy with that, so we're just going to basically scrape this out now, get it nice and flat, square all the edges away and then I'm going to pull this foot in along here back into the house. another good day today we've got the rest of this footing out to this point here and i've started on the return so by end of play tomorrow this will all be out done and ready for concrete in which is good it means we can carry on with the rest of the job so yeah i'll get that cracked out tomorrow and hopefully start on some of the oversight as well but we'll see how the day goes because the weather is looking pretty bad for the next week or two it's good old england might have to get a canopy out Get a Tony Tent. Get a Tony Tent. Tony Tent, <laughs> yes. Tony Tent going. <laughs> Any construction sponsored by Tony Tent. <laughs> Get yours online now. Right, guys, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. So, it is another day on our single story extension build, and today we're going to be getting on with this. So, you saw us yesterday dragging a lot of this out. We just got this little return here to get out today. Once this is all emptied out, we can then get some rebar, drill into the existing foot in here that we poured the other day put some rebar in there with anchor resin to make sure that's nicely bonded in so then when we pour this it joins in fully mechanically with that foot in there as well Ollie's about to slip to his doom by the looks of it <laughs> also what we're going to do is get all this oversight dragged out as well potentially going to be having a patio there so we can get rid of some of this as well and then all the grab lorries will be done so what I'll do is I've set him a little time lapse Hi, time lapse that is going to watch us here just to keep you informed as we get this hold up I think if we 
prop any closer to the corner, we might risk a collapse here because we're pushing out with it, do you know what I mean? So I think if we go back a little bit further, we'll be better off. So the reason we're doing this about a metre back from the edge, if we were to put these right at the edge, what we're going to do, we're going to push outwards with the acros and then what that could do then is cause the opposite of what we're trying to achieve and it could actually cause a collapse on that corner. Because we're pushing that way here, it might cause this side then to pop out. Yeah, so by keeping it about a metre back from the corner, we're preventing that happening. Now Joe's got that shored up, we'll get him out of the way. I can drag some more of this out with the digger and then we can start shoring this up as well because we're going to have to put our rebar in the footing over there. The bars that we've got, like I said earlier, to tie that all together. So we need to make sure we're safe in this area because there is a soakaway, an old soakaway down there. Look. So the ground there could be quite unstable because there's been well, there's a lot of debris and whatever in there. So we need to make sure that we're safe in this area. So we'll do another one of these props about here and then we can still get in and get everything done safely. down then 400 mil, 400 mil, 400 mil. Okay. Yeah. So that is it, day is done. Now we've got to do a massive clean up because it's minging and muddy and we've got an absolute mud tsunami out there. So pressure washer out, tools away, tidy up and home time. See you tomorrow guys. Bye.